What's up, guys? Welcome back to anything but ASIC. And we got some things to talk about. Got plenty of things to talk about here. It's uh, this is a Ryzen 2700, and it's mining while narrow. It's clocking along pretty well, you know, 6,000 hash roughly. And I don't know if you guys haven't been paying attention to while narrow. I can't blame you. It's really far down in the rankings, but uh, it's happened to happen to have a recent uptick. Maybe some things are starting. Maybe people are realizing that privacy coins are no, just maybe not the better choice. Well, yes, they are better. It's probably going to be good. It's going well. It's definitely as good by default. That we have privacy coins. The coins be private. Yeah. Not scripted, by the way. So, yeah. I remember only two weeks ago, the pool hash rate was only a 2 mega hash. It nearly doubled. But, while Nero is only, as far as coins go, it's a fairly new coin. So, it's only been mined out. I don't know. 10% of it's been mined out. It's the same coin count, maximum coin cap as Monero. It's basically a clone of Monero. But with some Dogecoin sprinkled over it with much memes. Now, you know, something I was hoping Turtlecoin would be, but they went the route of Aeon <laughs> and decided to get, uh, you know, ASIC hungry. Well, not exactly ASICs, more like FPGA took over, but eventually ASICs would come in if, they, if nothing's done. So, move on to Monero, Wild Nero. And this is, yeah, this is my new catch. Well, on top of that, by the way, um, HeroMiners.com is where you can, one of the Easiest places to mine while narrow if you want to get into that. And once again, nobody's really on the network right now, and there's plenty of coins to go around. And difficulty is not very high. And each reward is a hundred and forty-two while narrow. So even if you wanted to solo mine and maybe you had I don't know two rising nines, you could probably do that fairly easily right now. Uh, also, on Hero Miners, there's also QRL mining. Let's see if I can find Hero Miners real quick. Miners QRL. I should have looked this up before. Yes, Quantum Resistant Ledger. You know, another thing somebody, a lot of people are not talking about, but Quantum Resistant Ledger, believe it or not, is actually supposed to be getting adopted by Ethereum here soon. Uh, to make quantum resistant contracts. <laughs> Basically, so the contracts are written in stone, you can never hack them, even with a quantum computer. Hopefully, that is the ideal. Uh, Couple other coins working on quantum resistant ledgers. It's uh, Digibyte, as far as I heard. And that's about it. I, I just heard that, overheard that on other channels and other uh, sources of news, cryptocurrency news. But yeah. Quantum resistant ledger is way ahead of the game. Way ahead. And once again, it's not heavily mined. In fact, it was doing really good up into a an hour ago. Eh, some kind of pump and dump happened. It looks like there's been bots on the network. In fact, if you go out to the 14 day, you can see that, you know, around June 19th, where it was being quickly pumped and dumped by bots, bot algorithms. Something happened, stopped, 
And that was about around the time that Ethereum announced that it would be adopting quantum resistant ledger. So I don't know exactly if that was caused, but that did happen. There was a dip and it was back to the trading, but this is an overall upward trend. And on the end there, today there was a pretty big pump and dump. But, you know, that's okay. Still, upward trend from what it was straight across, standing between seven cents and 10 cents being traded by bots. That is a crazy pattern. A little dip there. But yeah. Quantum resistance. Oh, it's going back up again. Quantum resistance ledger. They're not all mined out, but it'd be great. Probably be a good idea to get some right now, especially if Ethereum is talking about adopting this for its smart contracts. And yeah. 24 hour high, 13 cents, almost 14 cents. And of course, somebody loaded up on bags and they dumped out. But yeah, quantum resistant ledger, it's probably a good idea to get some. Um, if we're going to start random X Ryzen mining, though, know that the Ryzen's have actually gone up in price. Uh, looking at. Ugh, I think it's just due to the fact that the suppliers are running out of stock, but there's no reason for a Ryzen 7 1800 to be $300. It's just not, not what's happening. Let's see. What was I originally looking for? 3900. So, looking for 3900. Yeah, even on Amazon and eBay, the prices of Ryzen's have, you know, slightly increased. Let me look at eBay. They're slightly increased. Uh, my favorite go to was the Ryzen 5 3600. And yeah, it's just gone through the roof. It was trending at about $169. But today I looked at it and yeah. And the lower prices you're seeing are just bids, but yeah, you're, you're back up to $200 plus out the door with ta without tax, before taxes and shipping. A lot of free shipping there, so it's not too bad, but. Still, you would think the prices would be going down, not up. <laughs> Being that they're older CPUs, and there's going to be a re-release soon, a uh, refresh of these out soon. Let's see. As for, as you've seen there, going to click down it. I finally got me a, what's this thing called, Blackbinder F1 Mini. And it is solo mining Digibyte. A uh, good pool. I found, I haven't found any pools, but I found a solo mining pool, which is weird to do a solo mine, but that's cool. Uh, Digibyte.solomining.io slash Odoo. And I haven't found anything yet. I don't really expect to find anything anytime soon, but it's there. And it's not really all that difficult to get started. How to connect. Yeah, it's just a regular setup, really. You just put in your stratum, the worker, and your password, and it just gets to mining. Although I did have to download the Odocrypt um, firmware for the Black Miner. It wasn't really all that much different from downloading it from for an Ant Miner or something the other. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. Lots of updates, of course. I still have my two Ryzen 5 3600s up and running. Uh, mining other random X cryptocurrencies and that's basically the mining life of 
the um, home miner right there. And between these two, the Ryzen 2700 and the F1 Mini, it's uh, it's about 300 watts, 300 watts power drain, and I'm okay with that honestly. That's actually covered by my solar installation, more than covered by my solar installation. So yeah, I'm okay with that. It's great for the home miner. So I'm basically while the sun's up and I'm mining for free, which I quite enjoy. <laughs> So anyways, guys, that's this episode installment of Anything But ASIC. Got the cool new name tag. Printed out on Aldrino. And I'll see you guys some other time.